All right. Abzan Citadel. Citadel, for those not familiar, our Bolas' Citadel. We've got, uh, you may look at the top card of your library. You can pay health to cast that card, which is sweet. Alongside Doom Whisper and some life gain, you can kind of churn through your deck because you can cast the spells using this. You can use Doom Whisper to clear away lands. You've got things like Gift of Paradise, uh, Bishop of Wings, a Johnny's Welcome to allow us to gain life as we kind of churn through our deck to hopefully play a bunch of value cards. So I'm interested to see if the green feels like it's necessary or even if the black feels here, like, would this be better as like a green white angels deck? Or would it be better as like a white black citadel deck, etc.? We've played um, green black citadel as a full on combo deck in the past. It plays the explore package last season. So we've not played it yet since the new set drop, but it was something that was very reasonably successful last season in the previous seasons. Uh, yeah, we played, uh, we played Girl Dinos yesterday, Bob. It was great. I'm not 100% sure if the build we played was reasonable, but we won plenty of games with it up in Mythic. Up in here, up in here. Yeah, it's actually funny. I wonder if more people will comment on the fact that I've now toggled a noise gate on versus the very light humming from the AC in the background. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder which one, which one will elicit more comments. I'd be willing to bet it's the noise gate because the noise gate like full cuts it off when I'm not talking. Yeah, I think I think the AC is actually just better. It's more it's more it can be it can be kind of jarring because arena's not making that much noise. Like my my microphone is the majority of the noise on this stream. The no the basically no sound cut from the noise gate is not ideal. Rather rather have it be consistent than like super quiet, jarringly on because Jeff is talking, etc. back and forth. For green black X text, do you think it's good to sideboard both dress and summer avail or to pick one? I think you're probably supposed to be playing both a lot of the time. And the reason why I think you should probably be playing both is because um what's more that I'm searching for? I think you should be playing both because uh duress is much better against the wilderness reclamation decks. You need you need disrupt du duress as a disruptive element against combo decks. This is a really good start here. What do you think of Sarah for the scales on this deck? What problem does my deck have that's solved by playing Sarah for the scales? Why do you think it solves that problem? And uh, what card do you cut from my deck in order to play that card? Those are those are the questions I would ask you to ask yourself when you suggest when you suggest a card to be played in my deck. Those are, those are the questions you want to be asking yourself as a deck builder when you're trying to build a deck yourself. All right, let's take four. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just supposed to block here and like be okay trading with the Defiant Strike. All right, so that's uh, mana source number six. So if I play, this needs to gain five, right? Which is unfortunate. So I can't, I can't play all three of these. If I play this, it gains two. 
If I play this, it gains juice. That still doesn't have me an angel. If I play this, it gains me one. If I play this and this, it only gains me four as well. So. Vitality plus gift. Yeah, but then I don't have this in play to get any benefit from having gained the life. So I guess, I guess I do. I think I just do Vitality into Resplendent Angel here and gain four. And then we'll do some blocking this turn and then hopefully attack with this activated next turn, I think. How much donation do you have to build a deck around idea? For standard, build arounds are $25. For modern, uh, build arounds are, um, are 50. And as always, yeah, all the thank you, Mail Branch. I appreciate the I appreciate the the link. All the all the info is well organized on the site. Anchor dead. And this is this is a kind of a good example in my mind of what uh why just being why just putting big bodies out against these aggro decks isn't good enough all of these aggro decks just have so many cards that you have to interact with them in order to have a chance you can't you can't just be racing these aggro decks you're going you're going to lose the race basically every time So, just dead here. Let's get some interaction in our deck post board. So, like, normally you'd look at a deck like this, you'd like look at all the cards we're playing, you'd be like, oh, this deck's got like a lot of cards that are like pretty reasonable against aggro. But then you realize when you think about it some more that a lot of what our deck is doing actually isn't interactive enough to like keep up with like the must kill, must answer cards that these aggro decks are playing. And I think here we're just supposed to like bring in some actual removal and like trim some of this combo ish top end. It's just like not going to be efficient enough. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think um, a lot of people like are afraid to like ask for support when they're streaming, especially when they're doing it full time and have viewers. They think people are going to think they're like a sellout. But like, I mean, this is my job, right? So I'm just like upfront with it. The only, the only reason I'm able to be here for, you know, the 30 or 40 or 50 hours a week that I am is because because people allow this to be my job. So as long as, as, long as it's paying my bills, I'm going to be here putting in the hours. Treat it. I'll treat it like a job as long as the community allows me to treat it like a job. Weren't we going to gain a lot of life next turn attacking with the two attackers? Well, they had Feather in play. And they had God's Willing going, and they had Defiant Strike going. So how do I how do I ever beat both of those things in the long term? So, what's the best sequence here to possibly try and to try and trigger these Resplendent Angels? I'm not sure that I really have a good one, right? Feels like I'm not I'm not convinced that this card's constructed playable. This, this really feels like a limited card. <clears throat> Zombie, I appreciate the three months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. <clears throat> so like top, top streamer in any category is like a super subjective metric. I guess, I guess it's not that it's strictly subjective so much that it um it depends on what measure you're using for the top streamer so like are you using most viewer hours are you using average concurrent viewers over a certain number of hours threshold because like for example i i often have one of the most hours watched individually on my channel but like as far as like average concurrent viewer count goes like that's definitely noxious right like Nox, Nox just destroys when he's when he's streaming. He just doesn't stream as many total hours as I do. So like Nox, Nox is generally only on for like 20 to 30 hours a week a lot of the time, where I'm frequently on for like 30 to 50. Yeah. Of course we do, Zilf. We aim, we aim to please.
two, three, four, five. This will be six, so we'll get to go. Angel of Vitality and there's Blood Angel. Oh, there's some people here that haven't met Buddy yet. This is our cat, Buddy. We named him Buddy because we got this cat instead of getting a friends list, so it seemed only fair that we call him Buddy. He's cute. He gives us hearts when we pet him. Life gain dual lands. That's an interesting thought. I could I could maybe see that being okay. Maybe get shocked here and die. I mean, if they don't have feather going, just activating resplendent angel might get us out of this. So if we like make this a five five, hit them, make a four four. Like life linking for five and making a four four every turn might be enough to win this game from here. The last game we were very dead because they had Feather going. I mean, I do have four Scry lands though, Bob. So like, am I supposed to be replacing my Scry lands with life gain lands? I'm not really sure that's the case. Like, like waiting to play my, le my tapped lands till later doesn't sound like a good plan, which is the big problem. Gideon. I mean, Resplendent Angel kills Gideon next turn, so that's nice. Hey, Minjit. Thank you for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around here. All right. Do the gods will it? The gods do will it. Sure. I think, I think we're actually ahead at the moment. Like, Resplendent Angel is very similar to a card like Feather, and that is like, you need to answer this or you're going to die. I wonder if there's, like, a more mid-range build of the Feather deck that's, like, playing Resplendent Angel and Lyra. I wonder if that could be interesting to explore. Like, go up a little bit bigger on the curve. Jeff, I gotta say, I love your approach to deck building. People are always shouting at you to try new cards and you're always just like, what am I solving? Yeah, I have a, I have a very mathematical background. So problem, problem, solution is uh, the, way I, the way I work, generally speaking. <clears throat> wow, they had Reckless Rage and just like wanted to time walk me, brutal. I guess I, guess I had this 4-4 regardless. Maybe, maybe I should have just done this that last turn. Defy and strike me, daddy. Defy and strike me. Why, why wouldn't you just do this pre-combat? Thanks, I guess, for letting me gain two. Ooh. Okay, okay. And then next turn I get to play this and immediately make an angel. I think we're, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Love, live, darn it, love. Trigger. Ho, ho, ho. Get it, got it, good. All right, all right, we're on the scoreboard. That's good. It's good, that's good, that's good. The rest of this seems fine. Let's run it back. Is Feather, Feather is an angel. Yikes. All 
All right, yeah, I mean. I guess I'm not casting this gift. Although if I hit the green, keeping the gift lets me activate Resplendent Angel sooner. See, I think I'm gonna bottom the Citadel here. Hey, V-Ball. Thanks for the nine months, I appreciate that. Welcome back. What a, what a good Citadel bottom. There's only two of these in my deck right now. Hey, Griffinson. Seems like you're having a lot of fun. Let me share my condolences in advance with Reclamation and Tefri rooted for you again. This, this person, they speak the harsh truth. They speak the harsh truth. Yeah, this, uh, this card could just be very reasonable on its own. Weird zombie. Well, you're you're welcome to submit it via uh via a donation <clears throat> if it's Twitch is being Twitch is being funky on you. All right, and Defiant Strike there is real good because it gives it the second point of power to let them flashback Lava Coil here on my Dorco. That being said, we do get to Citadel next turn, and we're gonna have 15 life when we start, so maybe we can do some stuff. Hey, what's going on, Genesis? We've got some got some new things here for a little bit at least. I'm actually gonna go ahead and lead on Doom Whisperer here. Gives me a brick wall for this Dreadhorde Arcanus and gives me gives me a chance to play this tap to like play the Citadel with a higher life total next turn. Also, playing Citadel out before I've played a land drop is nice too, because it means I can play a land off the top of my deck as well. Deal. Oh, I wonder if they have a lava coil here. If they have a lava coil, they can coil the whisperer. Yeah, and then and then shock it with the attack. Not bad. Good line here. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any any control or know how over Twitch's billing stuff, zombie. I don't think I want to surveil. I think I just want my health total as high as possible for when I cast the Citadel next turn. Opposition, thank you for. Thank you for the prime support. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around this month with that. Hope you're having a fantastic search your weekend. Uh, we've not played Feather on stream yet. And this is, this is the tough part about like not having an explore package in this deck. You're going to frequently hit a couple of lands and just brick off and die. Well, we're not guaranteed dead yet, but you're going to brick off. I have another lava coil. That's getting pretty close to dead. Despite all the rage, do 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 I could have like tried to cast down their thing last turn. That's not bad. Now if they say, but they can have a God Filling Bracket. Now if they have God Filling, I can do this to, uh, to kill it again in response. Yikes. I mean, the person who submitted this explicitly submitted it as a Bolasa Citadel deck, so I'm not going to rebuild it into a stock Just Angels deck. So I try to I try to keep the archetype of what someone has sent in the archetype of what they've sent in and we can we can pick it apart and make recommendations for something else that it could be after playing a few matches but this is our first match with the deck we're going to play at least three usually we can we can talk about it after that what feels good bad if, if we could make changes after after we gain a little bit of experience so I like I'm actually just dead right yeah Feels bad, man. Yeah, Citadel. Citadel does feel a bit a bit out of place here. I'm glad. I'm glad we hit 
a string of bad beats and medium decks after we hit Mythic. Like I said, we got we got up into Mythic after two days running, running pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we hit we hit mythic in record time on this stream, for this stream. We hit like halfway through yesterday. We hit mythic. I'm also, I also this card's probably not constructed playable. Even even well, that's not bad. Even with the the idea of, uh, I guess I guess this plus this triggers Resplendent Angel. It just kind of feels like we're spending too much effort to like make a card that's already good on its own better. Hey Timothy, thanks for the seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yikes! That is in. That is an aggressive start from the opponent. I think I want a Johnny's Welcome here. And then we can play Resplendent Angel next turn and immediately make a 4-4. Uh, maybe, maybe that could stem the bleeding for us here. Feels pretty dead, man. Feels, feels pretty dead, man. Imagine if a Johnny's Welcome was like a removal spell there. Or like a card, a card with a text box instead of a card that like costs us a mana to gain a life. This card doesn't really block profitably in a matchup like this. I'm not even sure it's good enough. Of course, like, our health total is going to be under such duress. I'm not sure Bolas' Citadel is even worthwhile here. Let's, let's just leave them in so we can highlight the issue with trying to play uh, a card that's clunky like this. And, like, a big part of the issue with Bolas' Citadel in a deck like this that doesn't have the Explore package is that your health total is going to be under such duress in these matchups, but by, the, by the time you get to cast Citadel, you're not going to have enough life to really get your engine going because you need probably 15 points of life to really go off with Citadel in a deck like this. And that's, that's even assuming that you hit the exact right perfect mix of stuff on top of your deck. Yeah, the uh, the surrounding package in this deck compared to the the green black citadel deck seems seems a little bit weaker. And like you can just compare like pull pull away the citadel and the doom whisperer and like look at the other cards we're playing and consider how many of them are considered constructed playable. Like things like a Johnny's welcome and that three drop angel, like those aren't likely constructed playable cards. Like the the ultimate power level of them looking at other cards individually is not high. Morning, Nivik. Sure. I'm actually going to lean on Temple Garden on one. I'll go Garden on one, Sun Petal Grove, Paradise Druid on two, Resplendent Angel, play Temple of Silence on three. This sequence allows me to not take damage from my lands, which is nice. Yeah, actually, one of the one of the issues with hitting Mythic as soon as we hit Mythic this season is that we had this happen yesterday too. This is our second time playing this person today, and thankfully we've changed decks since we played them last time. But when there's so few people in Mythic, you're gonna end up queuing into the same people over and over and over again, which kind of which is kind of awkward when we want to test a variety of things.
And like, here's, here's the kind of awkward thing. It's like, well, I don't actually want to play Citadel here, right? I just want to activate this and like attack you for five. So like, why is this Citadel in my deck if I don't want to use it? Oh no! Oh no, this has reach. I think I'm still trading. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's still the right play. It feels, it feels bad, but I'm pretty sure that's still the reach. <laughs> What's going on, Oddity? Congrats on your new arrival. And no one is telling me what to do. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Glad I can help with your not being, all right. I've got 20 life. Let's cast it at L. And there's a land on top, right? Like, it's just, that's just stuff like that's gonna happen pretty frequently with a deck like this. There's no, there's no explore cards to help you, help you have that not happen. All right, Doom Whisperer and we're at 16. If we can't go off from here, like this is, this is a great example, right? Like this is, we're doing, we're doing the thing. This is, this is the thing the deck's supposed to be doing. It's all, it's all come together now. I'm going to play this out from my hand in game four here. So I don't die to lightning strike. Is Domri's ambush an instant? Ambush the sorcery. They have Chandra's Triumph. Fry. Brutal. That's so brutal. Yeah, and like we act we actually just can't do anything anymore, right? And like this was this was such a great example. Like we had we had a completely ideal situation here. We started with 20 life and our deck was just completely non-functional. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more in an unranked match rather than continuing to hammer my ranks. I like to give three matches to see if we can see something we don't have, but yeah, Citadel. Citadel just really does not seem like it's a good card outside of the Explore engine. We tried we tried a different iteration of it last season two, and that also felt pretty bad. Sure. Uh, I just want lands here, right? I'd ideally like untapped lands, but I think, I think any lands are probably fine here. Another aggro deck. And again, like, you look at the cards in this deck and you think, oh, we, we should probably be okay against aggro, but we just get, like, beat up and stuffed in a box. So we're not interactive enough. Because all these, all these aggro decks have, have Feather or Steamkin or some, like, must-answer threat that we don't have the tools to actually answer off the table. Yep. Maybe, maybe Lyra can come down and stonewall them. If they have Reckless Rage though, Reckless Rage plus Flashback Shock beats Lyra. Feather, Feather is arguably the highest tier deck from last season that gained the most tools in in this latest set release. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna go off this package. Actually, 
I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the main package in just so we can highlight again how how we just kind of get run over in matchups like this what are we what are we trimming here I don't even know. I need to bring these in. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Let's just give ourselves a chance. Morning, Flying V. <laughs> nice, Socio. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Okie doke. All right, this is it. This is the nut straw. Two, three, four, make an extra angel. Oh no, I get a 1-1. One, one. And this is, this is the kind of tough part, sequencing opponent, this is the kind of tough part about playing a deck like this is we have these kind of individually weak cards and then our opponent plays some of these interactive elements and once they pick apart our individually weak cards, we're kind of left sitting there with like, uh, well, uh, we did gain five. We went to 23, went from 18 to 23. Is Feather the Splinter Twin of Standard? What on God's green earth could that possibly mean? In what in what way, shape, or form does this deck resemble Splinter Twin? Splinter Splinter Twin's been banned for so long in modern that people make references like that, and I'm just like, did y'all ever play with Splinter Twin? Because I feel I feel like based on your statement that you haven't. I feel like I feel like Splinter Twin is Santa Claus, and a lot of people just didn't realize it actually existed at some point. It's just this, this mythical being that they've never seen and they've just heard stories about. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we might, we might just like... You know, where's the beef? Yeah, JK, LOL. <sighs> All right. So this 6-6 six, six didn't do it. Maybe the next 6-6 six, six will do it. What would be my first step towards getting Mono Red Super Friends in the queue? Great question. Um, if you go here to the website, there is a all the details on how the deck submission process works on that page. And there's also a link to a Google form where you uh, submit the deck that you would like to see played. And then um, every evening, I every or every other evening during release week, it's every evening. I send out emails letting people know if I'm willing to play their decks or not. Brutal. All right, here's my 6-6. Six, six. Good luck, Godspeed. Yeah, me too. We're slowly, slowly flushing out the decks page on the website again. My graphics guy got me artwork banners for three more decks last night, so I'll get those put up this evening probably.
Untap, play Slaughter the Strong. No! Why did we attack with this? We have a Reckless Rage. Did we, did we draw Reckless Rage? If they had Reckless Rage, they would have raged Flashback Raged, right? If Lava Coil or Roots All. All right, good surveil, good surveil. Ip, Ip, Cheerio, all that. Looking for a Lyra. All right, that'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. The answer to what decks is Jeff playing when can always be found out by looking at the deck queue on my website. As always, the decks I play and the order in which I play them are dictated by the people who support my content. Yep, we're going to go into three. All right, listen. There's lots of there's lots of places on the internet you can post nonsense like birthing pot is too strong for modern. This is this is not one of them. You're gonna if you're gonna post fud like that, I'd recommend Reddit. My my Twitch channel does not welcome such nonsense. Oh, you made me breakfast. I love you. How are the monsters? They're at school. <laughs> You see my, I did see your PM on Discord. Uh, actually, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, yeah, talking through Discord is good. Ooh, ooh, yeah, they did. They did give us Vigilance. They're gonna be really sad here, huh? Do -do 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 -do. This is a game-winning trophy. And again, just like focusing on why we're actually winning this game, it's not because we're a Citadel deck, right? It's because we were we were Abzan Angels there. Your Bogle's comparison is more apt than Splinter Twin. However, I think Feather is more relatable to Infect than something like Bogle's. So in Bogle's, all your creatures come with defense built in, whereas Feather is more akin to Infect where they have creatures that you need to kill, but they also have protection spells to prevent you from killing them. This is probably fine, right? Scry, Druid, Angel, Angel, Angel. Uh, Christy made uh, cream cheese, cream cheese bagel bites. Looking for some more lands here. Perfect. Hey, Ghost Sandwich X. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yes, um, Veil of Summer does, does prevent, um, 
Veil of Summer does prevent your opponent from countering your spell. Is it still, is it still missing him 20? Gosh, it is still missing him 20. Yikes. How many times do I need to teach you this lesson, old man? How, how many times? Am I dead? I might be dead. They taught me the lesson. The lesson has been taught, chat. The lesson has been taught. That was, uh, that was rough. Um, the converted mana cost in this deck is really too high to leverage Citadel well. We don't have a good consistent way to be clearing lands off the top of our deck. Citadel continues to feel really underwhelming and any shell outside of, and any shell outside of, um, the Explore package, so... 